So today's tip, today's video is to not rush. Today's tip is to just take a step back and observe, look at the charts, see what's been going on, and then make a decision. See, by the time you notice that a stock has had a significant run-up, it's usually by the time it's popping up on your radar or people are starting talking about it, hey, the stock is up 12% in three days. Hey, the stock has been having a steady uh, straight climb for a week. By the time it comes to your attention, that momentum is usually peaked, right? It's had a run-up. People are starting to talk about it. But like, like all things like that ball in the air metaphor, if you throw a ball up into the air, it picks up speed as it goes higher until it stops and then it turns around. And by the time you usually find out about a rally, it's a little too late for you to get in. There's, in other words, there's gonna be a pullback. It's gonna move up, it's gonna stop, it's gonna level off because people who bought it down here are now selling it up here for a profit. So the tip is to not chase a stock that has had a significant run up over the course of two or three or four or five days. Because like I said, by the time you found out about it, it might be too late. You might be the guy buying it at the very top. You might be the guy buying Beyond Meat at like 250, right? You might be the guy buying Tilray in the 300s. You don't wanna be that guy. You don't wanna be the guy who buys at the top. You, what you wanna do is to step back. Don't chase wait a little. It's okay. See, I think a lot of people think that traders have to be constantly trading all day, every day, nonstop, in and out of one stock, in and out of another, in and out of another. You don't have to do that. You can pull back and wait and watch. Have a piece of paper. Have a piece of paper on your desk where you write down the stocks that you're interested in. You don't have to buy them just because this is the moment you found out about it. You can wait. I know it's tempting to want to ride that wave, but the likelihood of losing money in that case is very high. Um, so the tip is to wait for a pullback. Pullbacks usually happen over a two to three day period. If they continue to drop after that second or third day, maybe the momentum has run its course. Maybe you wait even longer and maybe you don't even buy it at all. Those are just, but that's not, you know, the thing about stock trading is that there are no hard and fast rules, right? A stock might drop for three days, and then recover. A stock might drop for five days and then recover. There's no right way to know except for to look at the charts. The charts are an indicator. They're not a guarantee. They're just an indicator that maybe the bleeding is done. Maybe the stock is going to level off here. Maybe it goes higher. Not guaranteed. Maybe. And on the flip side of that, um, you don't want to be the guy who buys at the beginning of a sell-off, right? Because we don't know how low it's going to go. You're thinking you're getting a bargain, right? That stock was 20. Now it's 19.50. Hey, it's 50 cents off. Maybe it's five cents down on Monday or 5% down on Monday because the stock had some bad news. And you're thinking, wow, I'm getting the stock at 5% off. I'd be a fool not to do that. But don't be so compelled to rush in. Don't be so compelled to rush in to buy uh, or to sell. You don't want to be those guys who are chasing on the rally and you don't want to be the guy who's chasing on the sell-off because we don't know how long a sell-off is going to last could be a week could be a couple days it's okay to wait it's okay to step back and it's okay to just see what happens you know it might it might sell off on monday and then recover on tuesday oh well you missed that opportunity but it's better to miss an opportunity than to buy something that keeps going down so one of the things you want to do is you want to pay attention to the volume because a volume is a good indicator of when the bleeding is going to stop, right? If the stock is selling off huge every single day and they're posting massive volume, larger volume than unusual, millions and you know, 10 million shares traded and the stock is down 10%. Um, 10 million more shares are traded and it's down another X percent, whatever the number is. And then by the third or fourth day, you notice that like, the stock is down not as much. It's down 50 cents instead of a dollar. And there was less volume traded that day. So instead of 10 million shares, there were 7 million shares traded. That maybe is a sign that things are calming down. What you'd want to also look at is the um, RSI chart, the relative strength index, to see if it's entering oversold territory. Once it hits that oversold territory, traders like myself pay attention to that. And we all start to go, oh, this stock has leveled off might not be true. There might be more bad news down the road. 
it's just an indicator. It's not a guarantee. It's just an indicator that maybe the bleeding is done. Uh, see, when a stock sells off on bad news, it doesn't usually just sell off on the one day, right? Um, so don't get caught up in the, hey, it's down 5%, I'm going to rush in. Because if they had a bad earnings, if there's some sort of, uh, you know, fraud, if the CEO is in trouble, if there's some sort of allegation against the company or, a, you know, a class action lawsuit, um, a stock isn't going to just drop on Monday. It's going to drop Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's going to be bad. So be the guy who has the ability to pause and wait. It's okay to wait. You don't want to rush in when it's surging and you don't want to rush in when it's dropping. It's okay to wait. That's today's tip of the day, I guess. So if you like this video, if you thought it was helpful, uh, please like, please subscribe, please share it with friends and follow me on Instagram. The link is below. Have a good day.